every morning teachers get up, they come to school, they've got lessons prepared, they're ready to go. Sometimes the problem is they don't really know exactly where the kids are in the classroom. You have this plan in your head that's going to work great for the kids. The kids start to do it and then you, it, it starts to unravel. Sometimes the lessons click, the kids say, oh, I remember this, or oh, this makes sense. There's other days where you go over everything, you do your notes, they do an activity, and at the end of it, the kids don't know what's going on. So you have this variety inside of the classroom and then you slowly become more and more disappointed because of the circumstance when you had this like really great plan, you thought, uh, to help the kids to be able to do their, their math. So the MDC provides a really specific way for teachers to figure out this is where kids are right now in my class about this content. Let's see what the kids know. Let's see what the misconceptions are so then we can formulate my instructional practice according to what they need to know because I've already looked at what they know. I don't have to, to diagnose it after it's done. I'm doing, diagnosing it as we're going along. Today you guys have an exit ticket. The next couple of days we're going to be working on systems of inequalities. So I want to see how much knowledge you already have on the topic. How much of it can you figure out and piece together on your own? Just give it your best shot. Give it what you think you could do on it. I didn't really fully understand what I was doing, so I think I might have done it the wrong way. I didn't think it was hard at all. The test was really frustrating because I didn't really understand what I was supposed to do. Um, I think I got it right. I don't even know. I was confused the whole time and I didn't know what we were doing. The pre-assessment is really just a formative assessment to give teachers information about where kids are at this point in time with this content knowledge. Because I gathered that data that way versus giving a test and them doing some doing well, some doing bad, they were a little bit more open-minded going into it. In fact, I told all the kids, no matter how successful they were, I, I proved you based on those misconceptions so everybody's going to be able to grow with the group they're with. It's bringing to the surface any of those misconceptions so that instead of sweeping over them, how we sometimes do, we can bring them to the surface and deal with them. I think what is an integer might throw people off mm -hmm. just because they see a whole solution set mm -hmm. and they don't know how to pinpoint just the one little answer. Yeah. Where should I group them? Where should I put them to be able to um, give them feedback that specifically hits their needs to um, develop this content, to really develop a deeper, richer understanding. And then on Wednesday after school, we'll come back here, we'll look at the pre-lesson and post-lesson assessment, and we'll look for growth and we'll be able to go from there. I want you to explain your logic to your partner and how you came to that this decision. This is the first, uh, first Work through the problem and try to devise a way to solve it. Yeah, white and black should probably be like similar and then mixed because there's more in mixed, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be for us, right, first of all, but then it didn't work. You have a higher probability of getting to marbles. That's right, you do, yeah. What else could happen when you go to marbles? There could be like, it depends on like... Cause, like they are talking to me about how to do things more than I'm talking to them about how to do things. And I just ask clarifying questions and they're explaining things to me. I feel like I learn the concepts a lot better uh, in a group setting rather than just sitting idle in a classroom listening to the teacher. It allows students to collaborate to develop the concepts as opposed to just simply digesting the concepts that are delivered by a teacher. There were kids who on the pre-assessment like literally missed every single thing and about halfway through the lesson the light bulb went off and all of a sudden they're the leaders. They're the ones telling them oh, this is what you've got to work on, oh, this is a mistake you're making, I was doing that before. We want to spend some time looking at growth across the pre and post lesson assessment, so we'll actually look at that data. When we had our discussion today, it was really interesting how there were a whole lot of people like throwing, like when I showed the diagram and asked a couple of questions, like all over the room people kept throwing bits of information out there. It's about formative assessment, it's about thinking about the ways you're grouping your students, it's about identifying misconceptions, learning from what they do or don't know, building on that, and then reassessing to see if you've made the gains you want to make. I believe it has the power to change the instruction of teachers every single day in the classroom, whether they are implementing an MDC lesson or not. I'm reaching kids better today than I ever did before. A teacher told me that. What, what administrator don't want to hear that? It's exciting, it's cool, it's fun, it's hard, 
but it's one of the better things that we've done uh, with regard to mathematics instruction inside of my building. So it's very satisfying for me as a teacher to watch the students be successful and to, um, to enjoy what they're doing.